Hello and welcome to my preview of Copperhead. So there's just a couple of examples of the type of sounds and effects you can get out of Copperhead. And uh, in this video, uh, I want to go over a few of the basics, uh, tell you what's special about this, this app and, uh, and give you an idea of uh, when it will be released. Now at the heart of Copperhead are our um, bandwidth limited VCOs and uh, I'm going to pull up the preview window so we can take a look at these oscillators so if we pan the oscillator mix all the way to the left so we're only listening to vco1 and turn the uh, cut off frequency up uh, we can see we've got the typical saw and sine waves the square wave uh, has pulse width modulation as you would expect we also have your triangle wave and a really nice one called trapezium and the nice thing about this is it also responds to pulse width and pulse width modulation. And we also have a nice super saw with uh, mix and detune. And finally, quite a unique one is the ability to uh, create your own uh, waves by adding sine waves together. Uh, as you know, everything can be constructed from sine waves, and this is great for creating organ type sounds. Now we also have a sync mode which when enabled combines the two oscillators together so that we can use um, one oscillator to uh, reset the other oscillator and we do that by flicking this switch. So here VCO1 is just used to uh, every time a, a wave cycle is complete is resetting the VCO2. And uh, if we turn off this sync mode, you'll hear how out of tune now it sounds. Now we also have an, a number of modifiers that allow us to uh, morph the uh, oscillators into something a little bit more brutal. And uh, one of these uh, is XMOD. So let's take a look at a few other things that uh, Co Copperhead contains, including an extensive effects and gate, audio gate facility. So if we bring up the uh, effects, you'll see we've got a typical chorus, overdrive, uh, reverb, delay, and a tremolo stroke pan. And uh, if we bring up the audio gate, we can take a quick listen to that. 
Now if you're listening on headphones you'll hear quite a panning of uh, effect going left to right and that's because of these two lanes here. We have two lanes of 16 um, buttons and they correspond to the, the, the gating for the left and right channels. Now we can also um, control the effect order from settings. So if I remove, if I move this gate from the end up to uh, before the delay and reverb, you can hear that it makes a whole lot of difference. So the the effect ordering is quite a a bonus when it comes to effects like this. Now Copperhead also features a pretty uh, unique sequencer with lots of different modes, uh, monophonic and polyphonic modes. So you may have noticed I was only playing one note at a time, and this left column here represents the semitone shift for each note that's being played. Now in this mode we can specify the note numbers of the chord we hold down. So by adding additional notes to the chord we get little accents that pop up, it's uh, really nice. Now in this next example you can see there's a hash in front of the number on the left column which means it's using indexes into the chord we press no indexes. <laughs> Now it's extremely easy to switch the scale to be uh, semitone offsets and we have a number of templates here but you can adjust all these individually. And this is with monophonic mode turned off. And as you can see there if monophonic is turned off uh, each note on the grid generates a note per key that you are holding so we got a set of chords there. And finally, I'm going to pick the monophonic uh, ascending app option. So there it was using a combination of the semitone offsets uh, in the editor and also the uh, notes the, uh, uh, of the chord that I was holding. And we can additionally paint in uh, controllers to control things like the uh, cutoff frequency and resonance and so on. Now I wanted to take a look at the preset manager because I spent a lot of time and attention allowing you to share presets with friends. Now if we tap on the uh, preset name at the top here it will bring up the preset manager and everything is in bank group preset format so um, we can create a new bank by clicking on the create bank and uh, when we create the bank uh, there'll be no groups currently so we can add a base group and then I can save the preset into that base group now we've just created a bank there and I'm going to show you how easy it is to export that bank so if we bring up the uh, files app, the iOS files app and all we need to do is just drag that bank out of the preset manager and drop it into the files app and if we look it will create um, a directory structure containing all the presets and the importing back into the preset manager is just a case of dragging that folder back into the bank section we could do the same with groups and we can do the same with presets now if we take a look at some of these presets you'll see a little star next to them and that means that they're favorites and we just double click uh, any um, file name to make that a favorite and if you notice there's a little favorites button up on the toolbar and we it gives us direct access to all our favorite presets so we don't need to go looking for them but if we did we can long press on the um, 
on the preset name and we can uh, search for presets and uh, audition them uh, as we wish. So that's just about it for my sneaky look at uh, Copperhead, which will be coming soon, probably uh, early December. So let's play out with a couple more examples and I hope to see you uh, here soon when I uh, finally release this. Thank you. 